Discussing the defense doctrines of the late founder of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Imam Khomeini, IRGC commanders as well as high-ranking Iranian officials gathered in Tehran to review the thoughts and teachings of Imam Khomeini in defense fields, 34 years after the victory of the Islamic Revolution back in 1979. Speakers at the conference talked about different forms of defense practiced by the Islamic Republic of Iran since its establishment over three decades ago. In the first years of the Islamic Revolution, the peak of the defense showed itself in the form of sacred defense during eight years of Iraqi-imposed war on Iran. But under the leadership of the late Imam Khomeini, the whole country joined hands to defend Iran against the forces of former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. The Iraqi regime launched a war against Iran while enjoying the support of most world countries in its invasion of Iran. In the past 34 years, we have proven to have a dynamic and effective school of thought in different fields, including defense doctrines. This school of thought makes decisions according to the conditions of the time. During the eight years of Iraqi imposed war on Iran, we were alone in the face of Iraqi invaders who had the support of the whole world, but under the leadership of Imam Khomeini, we changed the balance of power in the war and the region in our favor. This is the result of Islam's school of thought. As the IRGC commander has stated, the form of defense has somewhat changed today, as the enemies are imposing different forms of sanctions against Iran in order to slow down the pace of Iran's progress. In the past 34 years, Iran has achieved self-sufficiency in different fields, including its defense capability. Iran has designed and produced supersonic wind tunnel, capable of Mach 8 airflows. Iran did have wind tunnels before, which were capable of testing devices at Mach 1 and Mach 3, and therefore had to send its newly built equipment abroad to be tested. But the newly built supersonic tunnels are used for testing aerospace devices, including missiles and airplanes. This saves the country both secret information and foreign currencies. Only a handful of countries have the technology to build such a tunnel. The conference came as Iran is marking the 34th anniversary of the victory of the Islamic Revolution. The Iranian nation toppled the U.S.-backed Pahlavi regime 34 years ago, ending 2,500 years of monarchy in the country. The Islamic Revolution, under the guidance of Imam Khomeini, established a new political system based on Islamic values and democracy, which changed global equations. Despite the passage of 34 years since the victory of the Islamic Revolution, experts believe that the teachings and thoughts of the late Imam Khomeini have been a source of inspiration for Muslims worldwide. And the ongoing Islamic awakening movement is only one of the many results of such teachings, which still continue under the guidance of the leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei, today. Samak Kujuri, Press TV, Tehran.